Welcome to another episode of Inquiring Minds. I am your host, Steve Harper. With me, as always, is the amazing Donna Carlin. Donna, how are you doing today? I'm really excited about today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited about today as well. What are we talking about? One of my favorite topics, questions. <laughs> it is one of your favorite topics. I know this from experience. <laughs> it really is. So what is the question that you really need to hear the most? Ooh. Not have answered, but be asked. And so who would be asking this question? Are, are you are you setting your significant other up with this question? Are you having your close friends and family or your colleagues asking you this question? What is the, you know, give me premise here. So, you know, who do you want to have asking you this question before we figure out what your question is and what my question is? This is a reflective question. What are the questions I need to ask myself? And they're, they're really amazing because they not only keep us on track, they keep us open to everything that's around us and ourselves in context of what that is. So for example, I might ask myself, um, what is my intention for today? My true intention. If I'm going to go into a meeting with somebody that pushes every button, my intention might be not to throw the person off the 12th floor ba balcony. You know, I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> what is my intention is to stay centered. It's to be present. You know, um, th that's an easy question. A harder question is, um, what do I need to do in every role of my life? That's a that's. That's a big question, though. That's a really significantly large question for you to ask. But, you know, you come up with the answers, right? You, you, it, it leads to that internal dialogue. We just talked on a, a prior episode about the importance of asking these questions for yourself so that you can define your path and, and become who you really want to be. So I, th this is really, uh, it's really powerful. One of my clients, oh, about 15 years ago, she wasn't a client yet. She was a colleague of a client I was working with, asked me if I would join her for lunch. And I didn't usually have a lunch break, but that day I actually did. And I said, sure. So I met her downstairs. There was like a food court. And I asked her, you know, what she wanted to meet about because I wasn't working with her. I was working with her boss and her colleagues, a couple of her colleagues. And she looked at me and she said, you really know who you are. And I want to be like that. I want to know who I am. How do you do it? I said, it's all in the questions I ask myself every day. Because the questions you ask is what is asked from a perspective of your personal values, mm -hmm. your boundaries, your desires, your dreams, all of it. Yeah. You know, we talked about responsibility issues in one of the previous um, conversations. And like one of the asking, what is my role today? What is my purpose or my intention in every role of my life today? Yeah. To be the best wife, mother, sister, daughter, um, coach, whatever it is. And you have a different answer for each one of them, depending on what the rest of the world is doing. You, on the other hand, is what you're giving is from a place of your values, what your desires are, and what your intentions are that helps you know who you are. Yeah, I, I love that. And one of the things I love about our conversations and some of the topics that we have covered so far in prior episodes uh, is that it really is trying to guide our audience and our viewers to, uh, to have that internal dialogue, that conversation that we're probably, you know, haven't thought about having, or maybe we've been avoiding uh, you know, being in a position to start to look beyond just the surface and really dig down deep and figure out some of these things for ourselves. And, you know, unless you're in, you know, being, you know, coaxed or, or prodded, you know, by, you know, a, a counselor or a psychologist or a, a psychiatrist to, to start, you know, asking these life deep, meaningful questions, you often aren't doing it. And the reality is you and I both work with real high performing individuals. We have people that are trying to get to their next level of success or their next uh, create their next chapter of their life that they really want to live and, and enjoy. 
And much of what that requires is that introspection, which means that you have to have those questions. You have to have conversations internally and really figure out what your answers truly are. And so I, I love that because I think what we're really trying to get people to do is, is to have more of that and to discover more about what their real answers are, not the knee jerk reactions or, you know, what sounds good because we're in an environment that, you know, you just, you know, want to be able to put out the, the standard fare for your response, but really ask yourself, are you living in, in, in working in environments that you, you're really intended to be in and you're, you're finding your path as being one that's fulfilling. And so I think that uh, I think it's incredibly valuable for those folks that are tuning in and watching to hear these conversations and to have it. So this question, especially, I think, is a, is a really good one because everybody can stop and say, what is that question that I should be should be asking myself or asking my, you know, people that I, rep I depend on and rely on, you know, to, you know, to hold me accountable with that question and keep asking me that question. You know, for, for me, the question is pretty simple is, you know, what am I going to do? You know, if I don't do it, what will be the outcome? Right. You know what? You know what's in almost always when I hesitate or I'm challenged to make a decision, there's usually a reason. And it's usually, you know, one that's it's, um, you know, sort of generated in fear and fear tends to hold a lot of people back. And it held me back for a long time as an individual. Um, you know, and, and stunted my growth as a, you know, as a coach and as a, you know, professional speaker and as a, you know, wanting to get into podcasting or, or just clicking the camera and recording with good friends like yourself. Um, you know, so when you start to ask that question, it's, it's amazing how quickly the mind will come up and say, well, you've got this, this, and this, I mean, you're going to miss out on all this fun. You won't get an opportunity to see Donna once a week. You won't be engaged in these great conversations. You'll have whole you know, audience of people that won't even know you exist because, you know, she's amazing and everybody on the planet knows Donna Carlin. So why wouldn't you do this, you know, this uh, show with her, right? Those are the things that I think as you start to look at that, it also boosts your confidence in why you need to take that next action or that next step to, to make something happen. So, you know, I call them my reality check questions. Yeah. If I have to make a, a really important decision, the first question I ask myself is what I'm doing right now, is something my future self will thank me for. If the answer is yes, I know to dive in. If the answer is, are you out of your mind? Like give yourself a two by four to the side of the head. The answer is no. Yep. You know, if we, we discussed some things in the past. Am I being responsible to somebody or for somebody? Yeah. The, you know, and what is the best choice in that respect? There are so many questions that we can ask ourselves to really take that pause, press the pause button, and to look at the um, ramifications, the opportunities, all of that. Yeah. And you know that really helps keep us, it's not on track because the most amazing uh, surprises and opportunities happen when we're off track. Yep. It's to keep our eyes wide open. And really, again, am I doing this out of obligation or choice? And if I say to myself, I feel like I'm being pushed to the wall, then I know that it's not something my future self is going to thank me for. Yep. So, you know, they all tie in together. It's self-coaching. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And the minute we learn that kind of skill set is probably the best thing we could teach ourselves for the rest of our lives. There's no Absolutely. question. Yep. One of the things that I tell my clients is, you know, take an afternoon go sit under a tree or, you know, go on a hike, take your journal with you and just be in nature, you know, change your environment, get out of the office, get out of the house, do whatever it takes to get yourself in, you know, someplace where there's nature and you're combining that with movement. And then at some point find a really shady spot that you can sit down a rock or, you know, up next to a tree and, and just open up your journal and just start thinking of all the questions that you probably should be asking yourself and just generate a list. And what I have always suggested to my clients is, you know, just l allow the brainstorming to just take over because it's amazing when you are out of the craziness of phones ringing and people, you know, having demands on your time and you're allowing yourself this little bit of, you know, rest and relaxation, the things that you really need to be conscientious of and, and need to be aware of 
they bubble up to the surface, right? So you create this big list of these questions. And then over the course of, you know, maybe, you know, the next couple of days, start jotting those questions down in, in future pages of your journal and then utilize each day as an opportunity to come across a new question. It's kind of like a little treasure hunt because they, they just pop up when they pop up on whatever page you come on. But then those questions, you know, are ones that were deep seated in what you should have been that you, you feel like you need to be asking yourself to challenge yourself to the next level then those become opportunities for you to say, well, how am I going to approach today? Like you said, you know, how, you know, what do I want to define my purpose for today? You know, I want to be the best wife. I want to be the best mother. I want to be the best coach. I want to be the best friend that I possibly can. Well, those questions have a weird way of popping up at exactly the time that you need to be asking them and a great opportunity to have that inner dialogue in the moment. So that's something that I highly recommend to my clients to try and it's it's amazing the kind of impact it has had on several of the folks that i've worked with and i i suggest that you contextualize add story to each one of them yes. so for example if you jump into judgment about something before you go off on the you know on a tangent or a deep end or whatever it is ask yourself is this an assumption or fact? Yep. Is it based on fact or making an assumption or a judgment on something? Yep. That gives you pause. I remember years ago, this was a riot actually. One of my newer clients, a director, was called into the brand new, I mean like a couple days old president's office because his boss and his boss's boss were both offsite. And he was the one chosen to give the new president all this information. And he looked at me and he went, Oh my God, like, I'm, I'm not ready for this. I have never met him. I don't know anything about him. And, and he looked at me, he was panicking. And I, he, I said to him, what is so perfect about this when it clearly isn't? And I thought he was going to throw something at me. <laughs> there being no hockey pucks in the room. And you know what? He says, what kind of stupid question is that? I said, take a minute. What is so perfect about this? I want you to look at what's perfect. And I don't mean it in the sense of perfection. I mean, it. you know, what's perfect according to you right now, even when it clearly isn't. He says, well, I'm getting to meet the new president a lot faster than I would have. I said, yep. excellent. Yep. What else? Well, I can make a good impression or a horrible impression. I said, well, what's your intention? Which one? So it was one question after another. And then we went up to see the president because I, I was his shadow coach I, yep. and I was going up with him, but I was working with the new president also. Yeah. Um, in continuity, you know, uh, transition. And we walked into the office and what was so amazing was he didn't have a lot of the answers of the questions that the president was asking. And he asked himself, he told me this after I asked myself, what is so perfect about this when it clearly isn't? And he looked at the president and said, it is a pleasure to meet you. Now I know what you're looking for and I could get back to you with the right answers as soon as I get in touch with my boss. Remember, as soon as in the future, not, mm -hmm. you know, um, no, no, uh, sorry, it's not my job or none of that. No excuses. Yeah. He told him what he appreciated about the opportunity to meet him. Now that he knew what he needed, he could give him the right information and a little bit more meet to it and told him when he would get back to him and made a huge impression. Sure. Yeah. And then we discussed the, what was so perfect about this afterwards. He remembered that, that question for the rest of his career and asked his bosses, like it was just a riot, the ripple effect of that question. <laughs> and yeah. it took people away from fear. Think about that. It takes you away from fear and is helping you look at possibility yeah. instead. Yeah. Huge. Huge. Yeah. That's, yeah, I mean, that's, thank you for sharing that. That's a really powerful story and, and certainly beneficial for every one of us that are listening, because that is, it, that is something that we can all recognize and, and put ourselves in that exact same position. Maybe not exactly meeting the president, but you know, an important client having an important meeting, having, you know, an important upcoming call, or even one of those great opportunities with a good friend or, or you know, loved one. So you know, what's perfect about this situation right now is a great question to ask. So, you know, we'd love to hear from our audience. You know, if you're listening to this on the podcast, we appreciate that. If you're on YouTube 
and you're watching us and, and this co-host hasn't scared you away, thank you for continuing on and, and staying with us. Uh, we love these conversations, but we'd love to hear what you think about it, what you're taking from these conversations and other topics that you think might be important for us to cover. We would love to have it. Inquiring Minds is about that. We want you thinking deeper. We want you asking those questions of yourself and maybe other people and starting those conversations in your own worlds, wherever those might be. So we'd love to hear from you. So Donna, uh, everyone can reach you at DonnaCarlin.com. You have links to all your social media there. I am yep. available at RippleCentral.com and all my links to social media are there. And you, we also have a Facebook page. Can you tell us a little bit about that so people can sign up and join that group? Yeah, look for Inquiring Minds and you'll recognize the logo from our YouTube videos. Um, we would love to hear from you, not only because we want to hear how what we're talking about might impact you in your life. We also want others to hear from you and to realize that your life experiences could certainly help them through theirs. And this yeah. is a community that we want to form that's new. We know that. And we're very excited. You know, we have quite a few uh, members in our Facebook group uh, so far, and this is exciting, actually. Absolutely. Well, and maybe join that Facebook group and let us know what question based on today's episode you'll be asking yourself. You know, we'd love to hear what, what those are. So we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. As always, we will be back again very soon with another episode of Inquiring Minds. But until then, Donna, take care. You too. See you soon.